When I was in second or third grade, I had decided that I wanted to write a book or it was sort of like a short story because it didn't really get too far. But it had these two characters and the plot was going to be a journey between the two characters where one of them got separated from the other and it was going to be like from two different perspectives of them trying to reunite with each other. I was thinking about this recently because the art of storytelling is something that fascinates me. It fascinates me that there are people out there who can take an idea, turn that into a story, and then use some sort of medium to portray that story, like a movie or a book or even just audio. And it can move people and inspire people because of the emotions that certain things can inspire. I feel like this storytelling art has been present in human culture almost forever because in ancient times or many 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 years ago people would tell stories to pass the time they would write down stories they would pass stories mouth to mouth but stories were the basis of a lot of the things that they did. Many ancient cultures had lots of myths and tales about certain ways of life and certain parts of life that they used to describe why things were the way they were. This storytelling has really shaped into more of a entertainment outlet for us today, which I, I think that's a good thing. I mean, what I'm doing here is a form of entertainment and I really do enjoy making these, but so far there hasn't really been a connected story between each video and other than the first three that I did, but maybe one day, maybe soon, I create some sort of story that connects all of the videos that I'm making together or maybe just the future ones, I don't know. I do enjoy these shorter talking style videos and I would also like to make some more gameplay ones, I just have to figure out how to make those entertaining. Anyway, I'm kind of getting off track here. So I wanted to just quickly discuss some of my thoughts on some of the things that I have researched to be some of the most important parts of storytelling. Like at the core of storytelling, you have to have structure. You can't just have something that makes little to no sense and people find that entertaining. They follow a relatively simple and basic narrative and this narrative is used to help create tension, build suspense, and provide some sort of satisfying conclusion or in some stories cases a cliffhanger that leads you into wanting more so that the next installment of the story really catches you and you have some sort of background for the next story. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video when I was writing my little short story or book or whatever it was, I was writing around two characters. Now, I don't know if that's the correct way to write a story, but that's what I was doing. And characters are a vital component to storytelling. Like, without them, really wouldn't have a story. So you need to develop those characters into emotionally relatable people or animals, if it's a story about animals or whatever your story is about. And they need to some sort of they need to have some sort of development throughout the story because if you have the same character that you had at the beginning at the end maybe there wasn't a sort of you know change or there was no conflict many of the stories that are captivating have these sort of conflicts and that's how they keep the stories entertaining just now saying this I'm realizing there's another form of storytelling medium that I completely just went over like glossed over when I was thinking about this it has to be the medium of video games as a way to tell a story and I find this particularly a very very good way to tell a story some of my favorite games that tell stories are some of my favorite stories in general and you experience them through a game like in Titanfall 2 which is one of my favorite games of all time the story that you have in that is completely unique I think to that game and you just get to experience the plot and the ups and downs throughout the entire adventure firsthand as one of the characters and you're making the decisions and you're choosing how you want to complete each level or how you want to have dialogue with one of the other characters. Now I know all games aren't like that, like my very first game that I played was a Lego Indiana Jones game and it it had the story aspect, but it was modified from the movie, so it was still a story, but you had to figure it out, and being how young I was, I had never seen the movie, so I didn't know what 
was supposed to happen. But with that, I solved the problems, I experienced the story, and at the end, I was left, I guess, satisfied with a pretty good story that was portrayed through a game. So in the end, all of these mediums and like structures of the story and characters, everything that makes a story a story is a very, very profound way to, I guess, bring people together and express the way someone has creativity, like I've said before, in an art form. It's, it's, it's an art form. And this is one of those art forms that I don't necessarily know how good I am at it. I've never really attempted to create a story other than the one I tried to write when I was younger, but I didn't really know what I was doing. I thought it would just be something fun that I would do. Anyway, stories are complex or simple. You never know what type of story there's gonna be for you, even in your life. But I would say, if you have an idea for a story, or you have an idea for something short, like the idea that I had for this video, I had to put it together. It, I had to formulate my ideas, and it's not just something that I can just sit down at my computer and immediately come up with an idea. For. Anyway, what I'm trying to get at is, stories are a great part of life, and I truly do enjoy stories, whether it be through books, or movies, or video games. Video games might be my favorite, but movies are pretty good too. Stories are a wonderful thing, and I just wanted to talk about a little bit of why I enjoy them and what makes stories stories. I think that's all I have to talk about for today, and I'll see you guys in the next one.